A week ago, on the 20th of September, Bolton Council Executive made the decision to rip out um, a cycleway, um, a protected cycleway, uh, along Chorley New Road, about five kilometres long, funded by the Department for Transport's Emergency Active Travel Fund. This uh, scheme had barely been half installed when the, uh, when the whole project was stopped without any evidence that there was a, a problem with it. At the time the project was uh, stopped in March of this year, uh, the council then uh, held at very short notice a very much flawed two-week consultation, um, almost exclusively online. That consultation attracted 0.28% of the population of the borough. It was then treated as a referendum uh, and used as an excuse to, uh, to cancel the project entirely. There was no professional polling involved in, uh, in this consultation. Uh, a figure of 68% of people against the scheme has been bandied about quite a lot by members of the Cabinet. It's clear from the report on the consultation and the minutes of last Monday's meeting uh, that the figure includes people who were dissatisfied that the scheme didn't go far enough. At a meeting of the Greater Manchester Combined Authority on the 18th of December last year, there was an item to discuss the emergency active travel schemes and how they were progressing. Um, across Greater Manchester. Councillor Martin Cox, who is now the leader of, the of Bolton Council, spoke at that meeting. So it's useful to have a look back at that, um, that speech to see what the attitude of Bolton Council's executive was uh, at that time. Um, it would seem that the decision to remove this scheme had already been made in December uh, and um, everything that's happened since then was just a mechanism to make that happen. So let's have a look. Councillor Cox. Thank you, um, Andy. I'm just waiting to, yep, thanks Thanks for that, <coughs> Andy. Um, I'm, um, well, I'm, with the, I'm with the Chief Executive of Tameside. I'm a, I'm a huge uh, cyclist myself, and uh, I've got a garage full of bi bicycles. It's important to remember that uh, this stuff is not about people who are cyclists now. It's about people who could cycle and in many cases want to cycle but are just too afraid to, uh, to cycle on the roads. It's about giving people the opportunity to use alternative modes of transport uh, rather than using the car for every little journey. It would be far more credible to say I do some journeys by bicycle uh, but it would be nice if I could do a lot more if the roads weren't so scary. Cycles rather than cars and uh... I'm uh, hugely supportive of, of the whole initiative and uh, I was glad to hear that one of them is in my own ward in West Horton. Well, it's good to hear that and uh, I think uh, we'll all look forward to seeing the council championing this uh, far more forcefully uh, and actually providing leadership to help people understand why this is so important. But I do want to reiterate um, what um, Council Brian has said from Bury in terms of capacity. We must get this right. Indeed we must and uh, that's why we need to put in place uh, schemes with, uh, with temporary measures and then give them time to bed in, measure the, um, the, the, the changes in traffic flows, the amount of usage, uh, gather information on people's experiences of using the facilities uh, and do that for, as the DFT advise, uh, at least a year for a scheme like that, like um, the one we're going to hear about in a moment. Um, we've we've introduced our first big scheme in Bolton is along one of its major arteries. That's the Trolley New Road scheme. And it's a it's a shared space between cars and 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 bicycles. No, it wasn't. The plan was for a segregated cycleway using light segregation in the form of wand orcas to separate cyclists from motorists. Uh, a shared facility is what we've ended up with now after the council cabinet's actions. And it is not going down well, unfortunately. We are getting an awful lot of pushback from motorists and not a, not a great deal of support from cyclists either. At the time of this meeting last December, the Trolley New Road installation was, uh, was not even half complete. Uh, no measuring equipment had been installed. The planned trial and consultation hadn't even started yet. I believe Councillor Cox is referring here to a number of private communications by email and uh, in social media. 
I think this this the, the, this shared arrangement between very busy roads separated by a thin white line doesn't offer a great deal of uh, security to cyclists. And yet that's what we've ended up with thanks to the actions of the executive. And it's causing capacity capacity issues. There was and still is no evidence uh, for that. No measuring has actually been carried out on this. Um, I, 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 I know what you've already said, uh, Andy, you'll, you'll, you'll raise this issue. I think it's an important one because those of us who really do want to see these initiatives succeed, uh, we want to make sure we get it right. Otherwise, you know, we, we, we will get pushed back on perfectly good cycle schemes that are off-road, which is where most cyclists want to be. People who need to cycle as a means of transport need to have cycle routes that go to places they need to get to. None of those places are located on canal towpaths or old railway lines or narrow footpaths along the side of a river. And um, we don't want um, you know, the, the, the whole scheme to fall into any kind of disrepute because we don't get the public support. Any scheme that actually makes a meaningful difference will have pushback. This is well known. Anybody who's done their homework should know this. What's important is to give these schemes time to bed in, put in place proper measuring equipment so that you're relying on real scientific data rather than just anecdotes from a few self-selecting angry opponents. Um, you may know um, Charlie New Road, uh, Andy, that's where the, the, the first big scheme has occurred and we are, we are facing huge pressure to take it down. The way for a council to establish public opinion on schemes like this is by, through professional polling. There's been no professional polling done and there certainly hadn't been in uh, December when this meeting happened. You know, this is, this is the absolute opposite of, of what we want. So we must get this capacity issue right. And, and I think if you speak to most cyclists, most of us want to be separated from, from cars. And I think the cycle schemes that are really successful are those that take cyclists off roads and have their own dedicated schemes. This is not about providing people with places to go and ride their bikes. It's about active travel. That's about giving people the opportunity to use walking and cycling primarily uh, to get from one place to another instead of using the car for every little journey. Uh, I've done a lot of cycling in Holland and if you, if you cycle there you know you have your own dedicated cycle range. Yes, in the Netherlands you have protected cycleways running along the routes where people need to go at the side of the existing roads. That is exactly what was planned for Chorley New Road. I know that's difficult and I think Councillor O'Brien has, has, has also mentioned the capacity issue. It does cause capacity issue in terms of officer time in designing these complex schemes. Which is why Transport for Greater Manchester is there to do this on behalf of the council. They have the capacity, they have the expertise uh, and the money from DFT uh, can pay for that. But. Um, I hope I've not set the wrong tone here. We are hugely supportive of cycling initiatives, uh, but it's really important we get them right. And I think capacity is something that needs to be discussed uh, a little bit more. Thanks, thanks, Andy. Given that the Chorley New Road scheme was identified as the most popular route for this kind of treatment in the whole of the borough in last year's Safe Streets Bolton consultation, um, we just have to wait to see what the council is proposing as an alternative to the, uh, to the scheme that's just been cancelled.